Hey everybody, by now everybody's seen the story about Bethel trying to raise Olive from the dead and I wasn't going to cover this because so many people have already done this and it just seems to be the trendy story of the day but I was asked uh, on one of my posts to give my opinion on this. So I'll give a quick opinion and basically I'm just going to read what I wrote on a post uh, with people asking, you know, is it smart to raise the dead or is it okay to raise the dead? I just wrote right here, you can see there is nothing wrong with praying for the dead to be raised. God will choose if he raises them. But it's another thing to do a GoFundMe for $100,000 or to have people chanting and singing for it to happen like it's going to impress God and convince him to do it. That's really where I stand on it. I don't think it's such a big deal to praise for the dead to be raised. Um, you know, it's biblical in my eyes. I believe miracles. I believe there are still dead raisings. I know one person in our church that did see a dead raising on a missions trip he went on a different island here in the Philippines. Now, that's a, a whole other story. But... I see no problem with it. But as I said, you know, when people are trying to raise money, what do they need money for uh, when it's raising a dead person? It doesn't seem to make any sense. And having more people chanting and screaming and writing songs, I mean, God's not impressed. God's looking at our heart. He's looking at the faith. And he's going to do what he wants to do in the first place. Now, that being said, I wanted to give a couple more thoughts um, that some people may share the same view on. Uh, why does God raise the dead? Well, Ecclesiastes says that there is a time to live and a time to die. Uh, it also warns against being foolish and asks, why die before your time? So while there is a time to die, there's also possibly a time to die prematurely. Now, another question we could ask is if people only ever died when it was their time to die, then why did Jesus raise the dead? Well, I guess you could say that he rose the dead to show that he was God. But in another sense, we could say if those people were supposed to be dead, then Jesus would have been going against the Father's will to raise them. Rather, Jesus said he only did what he saw his Father doing and added, just as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so the Son gives life to whom he's pleased to give to. So, according to uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 26, death is an enemy of God. I believe it ought to be treated as such a thing in one sense. If God was a fan of death, then he wouldn't have sent Jesus to give us eternal life. Ezekiel 8, 23 and 33, 11, uh, both tell us that God does not delight in the death of the wicked. Similarly, the death of the righteous is costly and of great consequence in his sight. Uh, this is the meaning of the word precious in Psalm 116.15. So if God doesn't like it when the wicked die or when the righteous die, we can conclude that it just doesn't really like it when anybody dies. Once again, uh, death is an enemy of God. So is it okay to pray for the dead to be raised? I think there's no problem for that. Um, God's going to do what he wants. It doesn't take a big special prayer. It's no different than praying for healing on somebody. Um, it's not us that heals. It's not us that raises the dead. It's God who does it all. And we are simply being used by him for a purpose. Maybe he leads us there to do it. Maybe we're stepping out in faith and hoping he's going to answer that prayer. Whatever the case may be, go for it. Pray for the dead to be raised, and you know what? It's up to God. God might raise them. He might not, but you know what? He is sovereign, and he is going to do what he wants. So that's just my two bits on raising the dead. It's really tragic what happened to Olive. She was a, a young girl that apparently died suddenly, and it would have been great to see her raised from the dead, but you know it didn't happen, and, and that's too bad. I'm sorry for the parents, but we should let them mourn. We should let them move on with life, and... You know, uh, maybe we'll do an episode in the future talking about the dead raising team of Bethel because although they may have good intentions, I think it's maybe straying a little bit off the, the beaten track in what is normal Christianity. But hey, I say pray in faith for whatever it's going to be. May it be healing. May it be dead raising. And, you know, to God be the glory. May his will be done.